In this video, I will explain how you can construct an Arduino MP3 player, which can be activated either by clapping or by placing your hand in front of an ultrasonic sensor. You will need an Arduino Uno, an ultrasonic sensor, a large breadboard, a DF player mini with a micro SD card, an 8 ohm 5 watt speaker, but actually any generic speaker should work fine. An Arduino microphone module, this one is KY037. A 1 kilo ohm resistor, that's the resistor with brown, black, red and gold on the side. And about 15 connecting leads. You can find details of the components at link 1 below this video. You will need to have a micro SD card with a few MP3 tracks already uploaded. You can add these tracks using an SD card or a phone which can read micro SD cards. A tutorial with more information about this process can be found at link 2 below. Before you begin constructing the device, you will need to ensure you have the Arduino IDE installed. If you have not yet installed this, go to link 3 below. Once you have the IDE, you need to download a library for the median filter, which you can find at link 4 below. Then, once you open up the IDE, select Sketch, then select Include Library, then select Add Zip Library, and navigate to the median filter library you downloaded. Then, you should also download and add the library DF Player in the same way. You can download the DF Player library at link 5 below. Once this has been done, you need to create a new script. Copy and paste the program at link 6 into this script. Now you can begin building your device. If you are new to breadboards, you may want to check out my video about breadboard anatomy at link 7 below. Connect all the components exactly as in the schematic diagram at link 8. Please note that the ultrasonic sensor and microphone in the diagram have deliberately been made transparent so you can see where to connect the leads behind them. Be especially careful to ensure that the ultrasonic sensor and microphone are facing the same direction as in the diagram. Once the device has been constructed, plug the Arduino cable into your laptop. Then in the IDE, select Tools and then ports and make sure you have selected the correct port. Then you need to upload the program to your Arduino. You should see the lights on the Arduino flashing as it is uploaded and you may hear your speakers make a soft noise once the program is active. If it is working correctly, an MP3 track should play when you move your hand in front of the ultrasonic sensor and also when you clap twice near the microphone module. Be patient, there may be a delay of a few seconds before the track begins playing. If it does not work when you clap, you may want to twist the potentiometer to adjust the sensitivity of the microphone. You might also want to carefully check the define section of your program. This section explains which components should connect to which ports of the Arduino. Trace each cable from the component carefully to the Arduino port to ensure it is plugged into the right area according to the program. For example, if you trace the trig cable from the ultrasonic sensor to the Arduino, it should connect to port 7 according to the script. You should also make sure that all the cables and components are plugged in exactly as they appear on the schematic diagram and make sure you have pushed them in all the way. If the connection is not quite right, then the device will not work as intended. 